Today's Dort Media Network live stream broadcast is produced by the students of Dort University. Thanks for watching. This Dort Media Network student-produced live stream broadcast is brought to you by Joiner and Zwart Dentistry in Orange City, offering dentures, implants, and dental care for your whole family in a modern and friendly atmosphere. And brought to you by 712 Realty, a team of realtors in Northwest Iowa with the drive, care, and the results you need to buy or sell your home. Visit them online at 712realty.com leading you home. One thing I always say is who's surrounding your kids. We feel strongly in investing in a Christian education. Knowing that they will be surrounded by in a Christian community was huge to us. Dort challenges, they're not going to back away from having those difficult discussions about how we as Christians should be part of the world, but we know that the people that are alongside of our kids have that same perspective, same worldview that we have, that every square inch of, of our lives belongs to the Lord. This broadcast also brought to you by Vision Realty. We are polished, experienced, and professional, offering excellence every step of the way. We are the vision you can trust. And brought to you by Pizza Ranch, buffet, carry out, or delivery. And brought to you by Ploim Publishing, Quality printing from design to delivery. Poem Publishing. Hello fans of Defender Sports. Hope you're enjoying the game, whether you're a friend or family member of a player or a coach or a fan of the university. These players and coaches have put in hours and hours of practice and it shows. But going into each and every game, there's one more thing that every coach makes sure the team has, and that's a game plan. If these players and coaches are willing to put this much time into planning for a game, how much more important is putting together a game plan for your financial life? Now, the financial world continually becomes more complicated, but if you don't have either the time or the desire to spend hours upon hours learning and keeping up with the changing rules of the game in the financial world, and then figuring out how that applies specifically to your financial life, you don't have to do it alone. For over 40 years, we've been helping households to build their financial game plan upon all the things more important than finances, while being good stewards of the resources God has entrusted to their care. Because there's things in life more important than money, and none of them are things. I'm Tom DeYoung, financial planner and president of Money Concepts, the planning firm. Check us out on the web or social media, Check out our podcast at moneyconceptsradio.com or your favorite podcast app, or schedule a complimentary meeting to see how a financial game plan might benefit you. Enjoy the rest of the game, and remember to spend your most valuable resources, your time and your attention, on the things in life that matter more than money.
play golf and support Defender Athletics by joining the Defender Nation Golf League this summer. The Defender Nation Golf League is an eight-week remote league that you can play in from anywhere in the country. Compete from your home course against other alumni and Dort supporters for a $3,000 vacation package and other weekly prizes. Registration is due by May 27th and league play begins the week of June 3rd through the 9th. Scan the QR code or go to godort.com for more information and to register. I chose Dort because it has a Christian perspective. I also chose Dort because I knew that it was a program that I could do on my own time. If someone was interested in doing the MPA program, I would say that it's worth your time to investigate. I'm active in my church, I'm very busy at work, I'm busy with my family, and in doing all that, I was able to do it. And I think that if I can, you can too. This Dort Media Network broadcast is brought to you by Sioux Concrete Construction, Rob Sue and owner, excelling in flat work, poured walls, decorative concrete projects, dedicated to providing customers with a good experience and quality workmanship. SiouxConcrete.com. And brought to you by Huber's Plumbing and Heating. Whether you're looking for repairs, replacement, or maintenance for your air conditioning or heating system. Huber's Plumbing, Heating and Air Conditioning in Orange City will exceed your expectations.
welcome into the ASV Sports Complex here on the campus of Dort University. We've got some G-Pack softball. Second game of the doubleheader between Dort University and the University of Jamestown. Dort took the first game by a score of 7-6. to six, And a uh, come-from-behind victory. They have a record of 14-14 overall. This was their first game in conference, so they're 1-0 in conference. First pitch is going to be Blade Bunt. There's going to be Touring. He's going to field it, throw over to first. Not in time. Leadoff base runner Trin Gregg is going to reach on a bunt single to lead off on the first pitch. Uh, Jamestown comes in with a solid record of 18 and 6 overall, 4 and 1 in conference play. Their one loss coming just a couple hours ago to Dort University. Trin Gregg leading off for the Jimmy. She based on a single to bring up number three, Samara Martinez. First pitch to Martinez is a strike. On deck, Kayla Quintanilla is the catcher. And then Mackenzie Lefebvre is the designated player in the four slot. In the five slot, number 49, Hope Ransom. She's the first baseman. Number 51, Ali Badistoni to follow her in right field. Number eight, Sunny Halsey. After that, she's the pitcher. Swing and a miss for Martinez. Uh, number 55, Amanda Birch is the third baseman. And number two, Gentry Turin is the second baseman in the nine slot. Defensive lineman for the defenders looks like this. Olsen behind the plate. We'll get to the rest in just a second. The pitch going to be taken for a ball. Olsen behind the plate. Steenstra at first. Alyssa Villa at second. Toringa at third. Emma Gruen at short. Uh, the outfield going left to right. Rule, Tyson, and Croys. Bailey Sample in the circle for the defenders. Has a base runner here. No outs. And the delivery from Sample. Swings at that one. Popped up. And that's going to be squeezed by Emma Gruen for the first out. Thanks for joining us here on the Dort Media Network. Another look at that one, just in on the hands, popped it up right to Emma Grun. The stud shortstop for the defenders. And Bailey Sample will deliver. That ball fouled off the backstop. Top of the first here. On, uh, we got some snow earlier this week, so I had to move this one indoors, unfortunately. But we're here in the ASB Sports Complex. Last time we were here was back in February for the, uh, the ASB Dome Classic. And uh, haven't got a chance to go outside yet. They had a Florida trip, so they got to see some sun. They uh, played a bunch of games down there. That pitch misses. Two and one. Yeah, they they uh, they played Mount Vernon Nazarene, Spring Arbor, two games against Warner, Judson. They played Spring Arbor two more times. They played Bellevue, Cornerstone, Weber International, Mid-America Nazarene, and Indiana Tech. As there's a ball hit high in the air into right field. Under it is Croyz. Croyz makes the catch for the second out. And some solid pitches and some solid outs by this defender team. Looking to get on the right track here. Currently with one, uh, one game up against Jamestown. Like I said, they won the last game 7-6. to six With, uh, I think they scored, yeah, they scored six runs in the third inning and then an insurance run in the fourth, and that proved to be enough to win it. Pitch misses to Quintanilla, or excuse me, to Lefebvre. Mackenzie Lefebvre, she's the designated player. She steps in with two down and one on. That pitch misses. Lefebvre out of Escondido, California, the senior. That pitch misses inside. 3-0 to Lefebvre. And the pitch from Sample. In there for a strike. Three and one now to Lefebvre. Oh, 
Lefebvre hits 353 coming into today. Has a solid, she leads the team in home runs with four. So she's got some power. Swings at that one. That's going to go over the head of Villa. So that's going to go into right field. Croy's going to fire to second. Runners hung up at third. The throw to third is going to be in time. And they got her to end the inning. Aggressive base running by Greg. Ends the inning at third. And the defenders still or still tied 0-0 in the top of the first. We're going to be right back here on the Dort Media Network for the defenders half of the inning. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. American State Bank is celebrating our 50th anniversary, and we couldn't have made it this far without your support. For us, banking just scratches the surface. We pride ourselves in our commitment to our communities, building meaningful relationships with our customers, and doing our best to have some fun along the way. We're proud to be a locally owned and operated bank, supporting the communities we serve. Thank you for choosing American State Bank. We can't wait to see what the next 50 years have in store. Thanks to these Dort Media Network sponsors, Ski Bout Window and Door, your local window experts. Whether building or replacing, we have the products, people, and knowledge to get the job done right. See Ski Bout and see the difference. Ski Bout Window and Door. Thanks to MH True Value. Behind every project is a true value. Start right, start here. MH True Value. High ball game here in the ASB Sports Complex. Up to bat for the defenders, number 30, Brooke Rule. She's the left fielder. And the first pitch in there for a strike. So 0 and 1 to Brooke Rule. After Brooke Rule, number 11, Carly Olson. She's the catcher. And then uh, in the hole, number 44, Aurora Tyson, the center fielder. After her, number 2, Chloe Croyes is the right fielder. And then number 13, Lauren Steenstra, the first baseman. Here's the pitch from Halsey. Shows bunt, ooh, and it's gonna get her right on the knee. That one didn't look like it felt good. She's up, she's going to first. A little gingerly, but she is on base after a hit by pitch. But after Lauren Steenstra will be number 23, Ashton Grissom, the designated player, and then number 28, Alyssa Villa, the second baseman. Number 24, Emma Groon will be after her, the shortstop, and then the baseman. Defensive lineup for the Jimmies. Quintanilla is behind the plate for the uh, in the catching position. Ransom at first, Turin at second, third base is Birch. Martinez at short, left field has Asin. Center field, Greg, and right field, Battistoni. In the circle for the Jimmies is Halsey. Shows bunt, puts, uh, fouls it back off the screen for strike one. That's Carly Olson, this uh, graduate student and the catcher. She, uh, veteran presence, been here a long time. She's hitting 257 on the season. OPS of 804. She gets on base. She's knocked in 12 runs this season. Has one run or has a runner at first after Brooke Rule took a pitch off the knee. Shows bunt again. Pulls it back for a ball. One and one to Carly Olson. Carly Olson, the senior catcher out of Spirit Lake, Iowa. It's caught a lot of innings behind the plate for this defender team. She gets bunt down, it's gonna be a foul ball. Olsen steps back in. And she'll take that, pit runner goes. And she is in safely with the stolen base. Got a good jump. Clearly that uh, hit by pitch is not bothering her. And Brooke Rule puts herself in scoring position with a stolen base. And a two and two count here to Carly Olsen. Here's the pitch. Olsen swings it out, one's gonna foul it off. Out of play. Still two and two to Olsen, runner at second, and no outs. Aurora Tyson on deck, the center fielder. And Aurora Tyson, she leads the team in RBI, or no, excuse me, she has 20 RBI, she's second on the team. 
So like to get her up with two chances, or at least one up already. That pitch is going to miss. Full count. Three balls, two strikes to Olsen. Full count on the payoff pitch. That's going to miss for ball four. Carly Olsen base on balls. And that'll put two on for Aurora Tyson. Still no official at bats this game. Brooke Rule hit by a pitch. Carly Olsen with a walk. Aurora Tyson steps in. She's hitting 308. Shows bunt, pulls it back. Runner goes off the drop, the pass ball. What did you call that? Pass ball is what we're calling it. Brooke ruled a third, Carly Olsen to second. Two runners in scoring position for Tyson. Defenders threatening early, still no outs on the board for the Jimmies. Tyson takes that one on the outside corner for strike one. One ball, one strike, no outs. Here in the bottom of the first inning. Halsey delivers. And that pitch misses. That pitch is going to be put to Martinez. Runner goes for home. She's going to get in there safely. Brooke Rule shows off the wheel, scores on the throw to first. Aurora Tyson is out. Olsen stays at second. But Aurora Tyson with another RBI to her name. Tyson thrown out for the first out. But Brooke Rule shows off the wheels, comes in from third as Chloe Croy steps in, and she'll take that one for a ball. That pitch going to be fouled off. Sonny Halsey, the one in the circle for the Jimmies. Junior out of Honolulu, Hawaii. So maybe a little bit of a climate shock as she uh, ends up in Jamestown, North Dakota. Pitch, fouled off the lights. Halsey with a 2-0 record this season. She's got 12 and a third innings pitched. And zeros across for the ERA category. With 10 strikeouts on the season as well. So she's about as good as they get so far. That pitch can be swung at. And Chloe Croyce is going to take second. They just let her go. I say she's given up no runs. That was coming into today. She's given up one so far today. That was an earned run. As Chloe Croyce will advance Olsen to third after the single. Yeah, they, they went home. Maybe over, over through the cutoff, and that allowed Croyce to get into second easily and with no throw. Big swing from Steenstra, the first baseman. Team leader in RBIs with 28. Had a big game earlier this year with, a, uh, I think a trip, or she had a, uh, a three run shot earlier this year. That was huge in a comeback. And there's a ball, that's gonna be put in the gap. That's gonna score two runs 
Steenstra's gonna stop at first. Chloe Croys comes in, and the Fenders with a big three nothing lead here in the bottom of the first inning. As Steenstra comes away with a two RBI single. Still only one out here for the Jimmies. Put that one to the opposite field. Nothing Greg or Battistoni could do about it and just one hops the wall into the gap. Steenstra stops at first. And that'll bring up Ashton Grissom, the designated player. First pitch at the knees is a strike. Grissom hitting 302. Pitch misses high. Evened up, one ball, one strike. Foul ball. Grissom fouls it off herself. One and two now. One and two to Ashton Grissom. And strike three called on Grissom. She'll go down looking for the first, or the second out of the inning, the first uh, strikeout for Halsey. Alyssa Villa now will step up. Number 28, the second baseman. The freshman from Merced, California. That pitch can be swung at, put in the right field. Battistoni is under it, makes the catch, but the defenders cross three runs and they take a three nothing lead in the bottom of the first. Don't go anywhere here in the Dort Media Network. We'll be right back for the top of the second. American State Bank is celebrating our 50th anniversary and we couldn't have made it this far without your support. For us, banking just scratches the surface. We pride ourselves in our commitment to our communities, building meaningful relationships with our customers, and doing our best to have some fun along the way. We're proud to be a locally owned and operated bank, supporting the communities we serve. Thank you for choosing American State Bank. We can't wait to see what the next 50 years have in store. Thanks to these Dort Media Network sponsors, Ski Bout Window and Door, your local window experts. Whether building or replacing, we have the products, people, and knowledge to get the job done right. See Ski Bout and see the difference. Ski Bout Window and Door. Thanks to MH True Value. Behind every project is a true value. Start right, start here. MH True Value. Welcome back on the Dort Media Network. Top of the second inning, defenders leading the Jimmies. 3-0. Thanks for joining us on the Dort Media Network. Happy you're with us in the Dome for this one. Hope Ransom, Ali Battistoni, and Sonny Halsey do up for the Jimmies. Number 49, Hope Ransom. She's the first baseman for this Jimmies team. First pitch in there for a strike. Check swing by Ransom. Went around for a strike. Hope Ransom is a freshman. She's out of Winnipeg, Manitoba. And she's in the leadoff spot here. Plays first base. Down in the count, 0-2. She'll take ball one at the knees. Borderline pitch from Sample. Sample with a 6.23 ERA, and she gets the pop up here. That's going to go into right field. Croy's tracking it, and Croy's makes the catch for the first out. Hope Ransom flies out to right field for the first out to bring up number 51, Ali Battistoni. Battistoni is a junior from Elizabeth, Colorado. Playing third base for the Jimmies this evening. She steps in. There's one out, no one on after a Ransom fly out. 
Croy's in right field making the catch. First pitch is a strike from Sample. 21 and a third innings pitch for Sample coming into today. 12 strikeouts on the season. She's got a 6.23 ERA. Pitches off the dome. A diving catch by Emma Gruen. Put that one on Sports Center top 10. What a play by Emma Gruen. We'll put it on Twitter, says Matt Boss. So check that out. Dort Defenders Twitter account. There you go. Follow us if you're not already. We got some good stuff. I think so. What do you think, Matt? Yeah, there we go. What a play by Emma Gruen. Making the play off the dome. To bring up number eight, Sonny Halsey. The pitcher swings the first pitch, fouls it back. Pitch is going to be put into right field. Crowey's camped under it in a 1-2-3 inning for Bailey Sample. Defenders still lead 3-0. We're going to take a quick break, and we're going to be right back after this. We understand how complex the financial landscape can be to navigate. Our goal is to free up your hands so that you can focus on what is most important in life. At Premier Communications, we're all about connection. Connecting you to all the entertainment, work, and family you love with our phone, internet, cable TV, and tech support services. And now, that connection has gotten even faster with internet speeds up to one gig. Experience the next level of connection with Premier Communications. Visit us online at mypremieronline.com or call toll-free 800-741-8351. Premier Communications, looking ahead. Emma Gruen leading off for the defenders, a shortstop. They lead 3-0 in this one here in Sioux Center. Second conference game of the season for the defenders. First doubleheader of the year. First pitch to Gruen, it's gonna be high. Gruen made the outstanding catch at short uh, for the second out. Uh, it popped up off the dome and it was a tough diving play and she just laid out for it. And highlight play by Emma Gruen. That pitch is high for Gruen. 2-0. Gruen hitting 190 coming into today. She had some injury issues earlier in the season. Back in the lineup for some conference play. That's going to be off the top of the dome, and that's going to be a catch for an out. No, they're going to call it fouled. That was close. I mean... They're going to talk about it over there. I kind of, personally, I thought it was fair. Or like, could have been, should have been an out. They're going to say it was hitting foul territory, though. They're going to go with the foul ball. So Jamestown appealing for the out. Not going to get it. It's just a strike. So two and one to Groon. Emma Groon, the graduate student out of Des Moines, will take ball three high. And the three one pitch here to Emma Groon. It's gonna be taken on the inside part of the plate for strike two.
Halsey steps back into the circle. Looks for her signs. Emma Groon steps back into the box. Here's the delivery from Halsey. Swing and a miss from Emma Groon. And a strikeout in the second one of the day for Halsey. So that'll bring up number 55, Bryn Toringa. Toringa, she's a sophomore out of Oostburg, Wisconsin. She's got one out, or she, yeah, one out, no one on. So that pitch misses high. One and oh. And that pitch finds the zone for strike one. One and one now to Bryn Toringa. Toringa, she steps back in. She's got the one on one count. She swings through that one for strike two. Fouled into the glove. And the delivery from Halsey is going to get a swing. That's going to be put on the ground. Halsey fields it, flips it over to first in time for the second out. And Toringa is retired. So that'll bring up number 30, Brooke Rule. Turn the lineup over. She was hit by a pitch last time, stole a base, and came around to score. Steps back up, two outs, no one on. On deck, Carly Olson. Swings it, that one's gonna be lined to Turin. It's gonna be a tough play. She's not gonna make it, throws it away. So Brooke Rule reaches safely. And that'll bring up Carly Olsen. Runner goes, she's gonna be safe. Brooke Rule showing off the speed. Could have been a little bit of a pitch out. I don't know if you can really do pitch outs in softball, but catcher set up way outside, ready for the throw. Pitch misses outside. Carly Olson. Swings of that pitch, gonna put it right to Birch. Birch gonna throw it over to first in time. And the defenders threaten, but they don't score. They still lead three nothing. We're heading to the bottom of the second. We'll be right back after this. Today's broadcast brought to you by Beaver Eye Care, serving Sioux Center and the surrounding communities for over 30 years. Come see Dr. Paul Beaver, Dr. Dan Clausing, or Dr. Reese Beaver for all your comprehensive eye care needs. This broadcast also brought to you by Vision Realty. We are polished, experienced, and professional, offering excellence every step of the way. We are the vision you can trust. Welcome to Sioux Center, Iowa. Life in the center of everything. Where we connect with friends, coworkers, family, and the great outdoors. Knowing that in Sioux Center, you're never far from making the next great memory. And we grow great companies that make cutting edge breakthroughs to make life better here and around the world. And when it's time to play, we keep friendship, family, and a bright future at the center of everything.
Welcome in on the Dort Media Network. Three nothing ball game, Dort University leading this one. Bailey Sample still deals for the defenders. That ball's gonna be popped up off the dome. Oh, just out of reach of Toringa at third. Leading off Amanda Birch, the third baseman. Birch will step back in. Pitch misses outside. Birch is a freshman out of Moscow, Pennsylvania. She's got a 385 average this season. She'll swing at that one. On deck, Gentry Turin and Trin Gregg. If either one of Birch, Turin, or Greg reaches, Martinez will come up to bat. One and two to Birch. Swings at that one. That's going to be put to the right side. A diving attempt by Villa. Not going to get it. And Birch will reach on a leadoff single to bring up number two, Gentry Turin. The senior out of Sandy, Oregon, she'll step in. She's got a 333 average this season, and she steps in with no outs and one on. Birch at first base. Gentry Turin steps in, the left-handed batter. Shows bunts, pulls it back. Olsen checks on the runner, no throw. One no here to Turin. Swings of that one, fouls it off. And that ball is taken outside. Sample steps back in, and she delivers. She'll take that one for a ball. Two and two to Turin. And a foul ball. We'll redo it, two and two still to turn. The second baseman. She showed Bunt early with two strikes. Bunt is off, it looks like. She's swinging away. And she'll swing at that one, but push it foul. Down the left field line, out of play. Two and two still to Turin. She'll swing at that one, but foul again, just late on it. So still two balls, two strikes to Gentry Turin. Bats left, throws right. Play second base, she's got no outs and one on. She'll take ball three outside, low and outside, and we're full. We'll see if they send the runners, or runner rather. Sample gets the pitch and fouled off again. Turin is battling up there. Full count here for Gentry Turin. Bailey Sample with the payoff pitch. Swung at, grounded over to Via. Via flips it to second, and no, no throw. 
So Burgess reaches safely to second. Turin reaches safely at first. So an E4 is what that is scored as. Pitch in the dirt. Nice block by Olsen behind the plane. This turns the lineup over. Trin Gregg is batting for the Jimmies. She reached on a single last time up. Trinity Gregg. Barn she's out of Barnesville, Minnesota. Sophomore, she plays the outfield typically. Shortstop, or excuse me, no, she's center field today. She'll take that one for a ball. Sample delivers. And that strike is to be called at the top of the zone. If you're going to get that call all day, it's going to be a tough day at the plate. Swings at that pitch, fouls it off. Three and two to Trinity Gregg. Still no outs here for the defenders. And the payoff pitch coming from Sample. She gets the ball hit on the ground. Ste er, uh, Groon is just going to step on third for the out. And Greg reaches on a fielder's choice. And Birch is out on the unassisted put out by Emma Groon. Just made the easy play and get it over to, uh, to third. The old... Uh, Unassisted, or not unassisted, the triple play was in order. And we're going to get infield fly on that one. Runner, or batter is out. Villa makes the catch anyway. Didn't really matter. But that was Martinez who pops out to second for the second out of the inning. That'll bring up number 29, Kayla Quintanilla, this catcher. She flew out last time up, has two runners on, but two outs now. Two big outs by the defenders back to back as that pitch is going to be put into left field. That might be trouble. That's going to be over the head of rule. One run comes in to score. Another one crossing third. That's going to be a two RBI double for Kayla Quintanilla as both Gentry Turin and Trinity Gregg come in to score. And we have a run, one run ball game here in Sioux Center. Both unearned, says uh, the great Matt Boss next to me. Pitches in there for a strike. This number 27, Mackenzie Lefebvre. She's got a runner in scoring position. That's Kayla Quintanilla after the two RBI double. Hit just moments ago. Pitch is high. One and one. Bailey Sample, the freshman out of Staunton, Virginia. She gets the strike on that one. One and two now to Lefebvre. And that might be too high. Going back to the fence. Nice catch at the fence. Brooke Rule makes the catch. Holy cow, what a play in left field by Brooke Rule. The defenders still lead 3-2 after that highlight play in left field. We're going to take a break. We're going to be right back after this on the Dort Media Network.
Today's Dort Media Network live stream broadcast is produced by the students of Dort University. And brought to you by Pizza Ranch. Buffet, carry out, or delivery. Joiner and Zvort Dentistry, providing the latest in dental technology in a warm, comfortable, and relaxing environment. And brought to you by Ploim Publishing, quality printing from design to delivery. Ploim Publishing. Welcome back here in the ASB Sports Complex. We're here in the bottom of the third inning. Defenders lead 3-2. First pitch misses to Aurora Tyson, the center fielder. 1-0. Tyson grounded out last time up, but she did bring in a run. That was Brooke Rule standing at third base that she was able to drive in. She broke she broke home after the, uh, the throw to first to get Tyson out. That pitch misses for a ball, 2-0. They scored three runs in the top of the first, or the, yeah, the bottom of the first inning, excuse me. They threatened last inning, couldn't bring any runs to score. And now Tyson leading off the third. Strike one called. Two and one. That ball taken outside. Three balls, one strike. And that pitch fouled off. Out of play, we're full, three balls, two strikes. Tyson, the junior out of Georgetown, Texas, looking to get something going here in the leadoff spot. Full count as Halsey gets the pitch. Halsey, payoff pitch in the dirt, ball four. Aurora Tyson. She'll reach on a leadoff walk. Chloe Croyes will step in the right fielder, number two. She singled, came around to score last time up. That was in the first inning. She's got a runner on and no outs for this time. Three twos are score. We're here in the bottom of the third inning on the Dort Media Network. Thanks for joining us. Happy you're here. Shows bunt, pulls it back in the dirt. Runner stays. Nice pick behind the plate by Quintanilla. Kayla Quintanilla, she's our catcher for the Jimmies. She's a junior out of Moreno Valley, California. Makes a nice play to uh, stop Tyson from going. There's a full swing in the left center field. Is it in the gap? That's going to get all the way to the fence. Tyson rounding third. She's going to score. Croy's into second. Will she go to third? No, she stays. And a run scores for the defenders. Four to two here in the bottom of the third inning. Chloe Croy's with an RBI double. And Tyson comes all the way to score from first. Tyson has some speed, and that ball being hit all the way to the fence certainly helps. Lauren Steenstra now to bat for the defenders, and we're gonna get time called by the Jimmies. Take a minute, look at what's next for the defenders. April 3rd, well, I mean, we, got, we have a little bit of a, a break here for some baseball, or excuse me, softball. Uh, they take this Easter weekend off. They'll be uh, traveling to Mitchell, South Dakota next Wednesday to take on Dakota Wesleyan, and where it looks like we got a pitching change for the Jimmies. After Dakota Wesleyan, they will play Briar Cliff and Midland on April 5th. That's a Friday and Saturday, and April 6th in a doubleheader here in uh, Sioux Center. Uh, then they'll play 
four game, or they'll play a two game slot against Hastings on April 12th. That's away in Nebraska, and then they'll uh, play Doan as well over in Crete the following day. Then they'll have a t uh, three game or three team homestand, I guess you can say. Now they'll play uh, number 11 ranked Northwestern on April 16th. Number, or excuse me, Morningside on April 19th and College of St. Mary on April 20th. They'll finish out the season on the road. They'll play uh, Mount Marty in Yankton and on April 25th. And then on April 27th, they'll finish out the season against Concordia. We got a pitching change. Number, or it's double zero coming into pitch. That is Abby Blair. She's a sophomore out of Banks, Oregon. She'll step in. She'll inherit a runner on second. And she'll face Lauren Steenstra. First pitch, that's going to go right off of Quintanilla, and she's going to take a minute. Yeah, that we heard that one over here. That, oof. That sounded painful. She's going to take her, take her time. Yeah, take your time over there, Quintanilla. We got... We got all the time in the world. That one looked like it hurt. So Abby Blair is pitching for the Jimmies. Blair with a 135 ERA and 62 innings pitched and a 111 walks and hits per innings pitched. So solid coming out of the pen. She started 11 games, so it looks like typically the starter. I guess you don't typically have your your bullpen setup that you do with uh, like baseball. A lot of pitchers can start no matter what. It's not a reliever role, not a bullpen role. So she started 10 games. This is her 12th appearance. Yeah, Steenstra takes ball two. Glad to see Quintanilla is all right after taking that ball right off the knee. Can hear that one here. Three and zero, oh. or excuse me, two and one. My apologies, two and one. Matt was right, always right. <laughs> Blair with a seven and three record on the season, she'll deliver. That pitch is gonna be swung at, uh, hit right back to Blair, and flipped over to first for the first out of the inning for the defenders. Made sure Croy's wasn't going. That's one down for the Jimmies. To bring up number 23, Ashton Grissom. She struck out last time up. Blair delivers. Gets the swing, but foul. Blair pitches that one over, wild pitch. Runner goes to third, she's gonna be there. Safe, over the head of Quintanilla to the backstop. Just released it a little too late. So Croys will reach third on a wild pitch. Fouled off the backstop, off the net by Grissom. One and two to Grissom. 0 for one on the day. Here's the pitch. That one's gonna be high for ball two. Evened up with two balls, two strikes. Grissom, the freshman out of Olathe, Kansas. Shot a runner at third. Defenders lead four to two. And another foul ball by Grissom, fighting that one off. Yeah. 
Grayson swings it out when the pitch is on the ground. Throw to first in time. Croy stays, so strikeout for Grissom. And her second one of the day. That is Blair's first strikeout of the day. That'll bring up number 28, Alyssa Villa. Villa flew out last time up. She flew out to right field. Battistoni made the catch. She steps in now. Two down, one on. Pitch is high. Blair looks at her card, gets the pitch. She delivers. Pitch is high for a ball. She pitches some heat. She's got, she's got an arm on her. See if the defenders can catch up to the heater. Pitches inside for a ball. 3-0. Here's the pitch to Villa. Blair delivers. In there for a strike, 3-1. Three balls, one strike to Alyssa Villa. She's got a runner at first. Base open for the Jimmies if they want it. And that'll be a walk to Villa. So runners cornered with two outs for Emma Groon. She struck out last time up. And we'll see how the Jimmies play. They get their defensive signs, see where they want to go with it. They have an easy out at second if the ball's hit in the middle infield. They also have the force at first, of course. And McGroon will step in. The graduate student looking to deliver here. They lead by two, four to two is our score. Bottom of the third. And the delivery is gonna be high and outside, I believe, for a ball. And the 1-0. In there for a strike. One and one. Strike two taken by Gruen. So we got a one ball, two strikes, two on and two outs. Base hit scores one. And the delivery. Strike three called on Gruden. She can't believe it, but on the inside part of the plate. Defenders still lead 4-2. We're heading to the fourth. We'll be right back after this. Today's broadcast brought to you by the Grain House in Hall. They have amazing coffee, energy drinks, breakfast, lunch, and more. With a big city feel located only 10 minutes away in Sioux Center, they have a second location opening next year in Sanborn. Today's broadcast brought to you by Snyder Insurance and Financial Group of Sioux Center, offering life, health, Medicare supplements, annuities, and more. Trusted service and exceptional products with you in mind since 1973. Thanks to Prairie Life Chiropractic, combining skill and expertise that spans the entire chiropractic, acupuncture, and physical health spectrum. They want you to move better and live better. And today's live stream broadcast brought to you by Verhoof Automotive. Verhoof Automotive in Sioux Center is your local Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Chevrolet, and Buick dealer. Verhoof Automotive, worth the drive from anywhere.
Welcome back on the Dort Media Network. First pitch misses for a ball. That is number 49, Hope Ransom batting for the Jimmy. She's leading off. Due up is Ransom, Battistoni, and Halsey. If any one of those reach, it'll be Birch. 2-0 to Ransom. Ransom 0 for 1 with a fly out. And she'll take ball three high. That pitch finds the zone for strike one. Sample still dealing for the defenders. She's pitched well. She's only given up two runs. That was last inning. And ball four issued to Ransom. So leadoff walk for the Jimmies to bring up number 51, Ali Battistoni. And we're gonna get time called. So it looks like a pinch hitter. Nope, I lied, pinch runner. That is, looks like number one, Sonia Rogers, sophomore from Fairfield, California. Typically plays the infield or outfield. But she will get the running duties for this time. And it looks like we might get a pitching change as well. Is that going to be Jaden Faber? Is that what you're guessing? Number 20, Jaden Faber. She'll step into the circle for the Jimmy, or for the defenders, excuse me. So Faber will step into the circle for the defenders. She's the junior out of Rock Valley, uh, no, not California, excuse me, Rock Valley, Iowa. She has a 144 ERA. She's got 24 and a third innings pitched. She steps in, she's got a uh, runner on first. That is Rogers pinch running for Ransom. And she will step in to face Allie Battistoni. She popped out last time up, or fouled out really. I mean, it hit the dome and an outstanding play by Emma Groon on a diving catch. So Jaden Faber will deliver. The pickoff throw, not gonna get there. I like the idea. First pitch that uh, Roger sees, maybe back picker, see if he can get her a little far out. Faber, own, or 1 0, finds the zone on that one for strike one. One ball, one strike, no outs, and a runner on. Defenders lead 4 2. That's going to be ball hit on the ground via field. It goes over to second. The throw to second's in time, throw to first, not in time. They're only going to get one on that one. So that is Rogers thrown out on the 4-6, and a fielder's choice for Battistoni. So one down for the defenders to bring up, uh, not Halsey, excuse me, that is double zero, Abby Blair. I guess you can call that zero. There's not a zero on the team, so. Abby Blair batting in place of Halsey and pitching us. So straight up sub, foul. Blair steps back in. Two and one. Swings at that pitch, fouled off herself. Two and two now for Blair. Two balls, two strikes, one out, one on. 
Pitch misses, we're full. Oh, excuse me, not, yeah, we are full. So ball four to Blair. She'll reach on a walk. Battistoni, she'll get to second. And now there's two base runners on for Amanda Birch, one in scoring position. Birch singled last time up, gets a ball put on the ground. Will they go to second? No, they're gonna flip it to first for the second out. And the smart play by Steenstra tosses it to Villa for the second out of the inning. Not often you see a 3-4 on something that wasn't a bunt. So that's the second out of the inning. Gentry Turin now batting. She reached on an error last time up and that error turned out to be costly. Came around to score after a Quintanilla two RBI double. Swings it out and it fouls it off, off the glove of Carly Olson. Pitch is high. Two and one here to Turin. Another pitch fouled off the glove. Two balls, two strikes. And that pitch is high, full count. Full count, and runners on second and third. Two outs, Faber with the payoff pitch. Gets ball four. That'll load the bases, Turin watches that one miss outside. Everyone in the defender dog dugout thought that was strike three, but instead ball four to load the bases. That pitch misses outside for ball one. Trinity Gregg now batting. Gregg slaps that one foul. A lot of trust in that netting over there. <laughs> Greg puts that one over to third, touring a field tip, throws over to first in time. Defenders strand the, or Jimmy is strand the bases loaded and the defenders still lead 4-2. We're going to take a quick break on the Dort Media Network. We'll be right back after this. Today's broadcast brought to you by German Farmers Mutual, protecting the farm and home since 1981. Northwest Iowa's local insurance partner online at germanfarmers.com. Today's broadcast is sponsored by Northside Body Shop. When you expect the very best in the repair of your vehicle, call Northside Body Shop Limited today. Serving the Sioux Center area since 1955. 712-722-2313. Special thanks to all our Dort Media Network sponsors, Bolink Enterprises Incorporated, building homes for families and businesses in Northwest Iowa since 1962. Let's work together to bring your vision into reality. Bolink Enterprises Incorporated. Today's broadcast is brought to you by the Van Englenhoven Agency, your trusted independent insurance agency throughout Northwest Iowa. Contact the Van Englenhoven Agency Sioux Center Advisors, Mark Holsoff or Lisa Dykstra.
Welcome back here on the Dort Media Network. Bryn Toringa, she's leading off for the defenders. They lead 4-2. She made the last out of the inning. Fielded the ball over at third base, flipped it over to Strand. The base is loaded, and the Jimmy is unable to cross any runs to work into that two-run lead that the defenders have. First pitch in there for a strike. It's 0-1 to Toringa. She grounded out last time up. Gets the swing there, grounds it to Blair, and Blair will flip it over to first to Ransom for the first out. So back-to-back -back round outs to the pitcher for Toringa. That'll turn the lineup over number 30, Brooke Rule. She was hit by a pitch and reached on air. Two stolen bases on the day and a run scored. Swing and a miss from Rule. Pitch gets past Quintanilla, and it's a one and one count. One and one to rule. She'll ground it over to third. Birch fields it, throws it over to first in time for the second out. And back to back ground outs. Induced by Blair. That'll bring up number 11, Carly Olson, the catcher. Olson walked, came around to score, and grounded out. She'll take strike one on the outside part of the plate. Pitch off the glove of Quintanilla for ball one. Strike two taken by Olsen at the knees. One and two with two outs, no one on. One ball, two strikes to Olsen. She'll take ball two. Good eye by Olsen. And another catcher's interference. We had uh, almost an identical play last game. Carly Olsen reaches on a catcher's interference for the second time this evening. First time this game, but happened last game. And not, I mean, what was the last time you saw not one catcher's interference, but two in the same day by the same player? So that'll put a base runner on for Aurora Tyson. First pitch misses for a ball. Swing and a miss, runner goes. Olsen is in there. Stolen base for Carly Olsen. Swing and a miss for Aurora Tyson for a strike. Pitch is foul. Pitch 
Pitch is high to Tyson. Two and two. Tyson 0 for 1 on the day. She grounded out, walked, and came around to score. That pitch is in and out of the glove of Quintanilla. And we are full. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, and a runner on second. Defenders lead 4-2. We're in the bottom of the fourth inning here in Sioux Center. Tyson fouls that one off the net. So once again, we got a full count. Blair steps back on the rubber. And the payoff pitch misses for ball four. Rora Tyson, based on balls. So two on for Chloe Croys. Croys singled last time up and came around to score. She's got two on, and the runners will be off on contact with two outs. She'll take that one. Pitch in there for a strike. <laughs> Croy's fouls that one off. Ball hit on the ground to second. That's going to do it for this inning. Defenders still lead 4-2. They strain two runners on, uh, but they can't. Oh. Oh, another catcher's interference. So hold the phone. We're still here. I lied. Defenders now. Bases loaded after the catcher's interference. Chloe Croyes will reach. On that one. So I, I said, when was the last time you saw two catchers interferences in the same day? When was the last time you saw two catchers interferences in the same inning? Lauren Steenstra now batting. She'll take that one for a ball. Steenstra, one for two with a single and a ground out. She's got bases loaded and two outs here. Chance to break this one open for the defenders. Time called by Steenstra. That one in there for a strike. Tyson, or excuse me, not Tyson, that is Steenstra fouls that one off. One and two to Steenstra. Ball hit on the ground. This might be a tough play. Steenstra hustling to first. And she is thrown out. It was a close play. Defenders strand the bases loaded. They still lead 4-2. to two. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back on the Dort Media Network.
This live stream broadcast brought to you by Napa Auto Parts in Sioux Center. Your source for quality automotive parts for your car or truck. Let them use their knowledge to help you find the right vehicle battery, brakes, filters, headlights, wipers, and other parts needed to get your job done. Napa Auto Parts in Sioux Center. Four to two ball game here in Sioux Center in the top of the fifth inning. Errors have plagued the, the, the Jimmies. They have two runs on four hits, three errors. Defenders have four runs on three hits and one error. So, like to clean up the defensive side of the ball if you are the Jimmies. Leading off, Samara Martinez, the shortstop, 0 for 2 with two pop outs. Swings at that one, grouts it to Villa. Villa fields it over to Steenstra in time. And Martinez is retired for the first out. That'll bring up number 29, Kayla Quintanilla, the catcher. And those two of those errors charged to her on two catcher's interferences. Both of those happening last inning. They didn't amount. Well, excuse me. I mean, it, it loaded the bases and the defenders four runs. Two of those were scored or were because of an error back in the first inning committed by second baseman Turin. That let the inning continue on. Oh, and <laughs> there's a uh, think fast moment over there in the Jimmy's dugout off the top of the fence. Hit on the ground under the glove of Toringa. There's a base hit for Quintanilla. A one out base hit in the left field. Brooke Rule there to cut it off. That'll bring up number 27, Mackenzie Lefebvre. One for two, a base hit and a fly out. She'll step in with one out and one on. Pitches inside for a ball. It just fouled off. And that pitch is in there for a strike. One and two now to Lefebvre. Pitch it on the ground via fields it, goes to second first. One, two outs and a double play to end the inning. Defenders lead 4-2 after that highlight play initiated by Via going 4-6-3. We're gonna take a quick break. You're watching Dort Softball on the Dort Media Network. Today's broadcast is brought to you by Rental. Get ready to power up your projects with equipment rentals from Rental. From heavy duty machinery to the latest power tools, they've got the gear to make your projects a success. Visit them online at rental.com or call 712 722 3928. Today's broadcast is brought to you by New Tech. At New Tech, they don't just sell equipment, they deliver performance, reliability, and innovation. Their team of experts is there to guide you every step of the way, ensuring you find the perfect equipment for your needs. Today's Dort Media Network live stream broadcast is produced by the students of Dort University. Thanks for watching. This Dort Media Network broadcast is brought to you by Sioux Concrete Construction, Rob Sue and owner, excelling in flat work, poured walls, decorative concrete projects, dedicated to providing customers with a good experience and quality workmanship. SiouxConcrete.com.
Welcome back on the Dort Media Network. Thanks for joining us. We got a 4-2 ball game in the bottom of the fifth inning. A few changes also for you to note. In for Ashton Grissom is number three, Casey Karzak. And then catching now for the Jimmies is the former designated player, Mackenzie Lefebvre. She'll catch and Quintanilla will go to the DP position. So they just switched outright. First pitch is a ball, 1-0 to Karzak. Karzak puts that one into right field. And a pinch hit, base hit for Karzak. They went for the throw out at first, not going to get it. So Karzak reaches on a single. And they're gonna and they're gonna run for it, it looks like. They will run for her. I believe that is Peyton Whipple. Number 10, Peyton Whipple, the sophomore from Longwood, Florida. She'll run. Alyssa Villa now to bat, second baseman. She's a fly out and a walk, so 0 for 1 on the day. Shows bunts, and that's going to go off the catcher to the backstop. Whipple gets to second on the wild pitch. So Whipple gets to second and puts herself in scoring position for Alyssa Villa. Still no outs for the defenders. Shows bunts again, stabs at it, doesn't get it, foul ball. One and one. Swing and a miss from Villa for strike two. A nice pitch by Blair. Nice drop ball. One ball, two strikes. The runner on second and no outs. And another foul ball for Villa. Strike three called to Villa on the heater, Frozer, for the first out. That'll bring up number 24, Emma Groon. She has back-to-back -back strikeouts on the day, one looking, one swinging. Groon takes the first pitch at the, no at the knees for strike. 0-1. Oh and a strike to Groon, 0-2. Oh That pitch is going to be hit right at first baseman Ransom in a double play. Just hit hard right at Ransom, flips it over to second to double off Whipple, who was going on contact, and nothing Whipple could do on that one. And the defenders waste a good opportunity to add another one. They still lead 4-2. We'll be right back on the Dort Media Network. Today's broadcast is brought to you by New Tech. They're your partner for success when purchasing equipment for construction, manufacturing, ag, and other industries. Don't miss the opportunity to transform your business and redefine your productivity standards with New Tech. 
Today's broadcast is brought to you by Rental. Looking for top-notch rental equipment? Look no further than Rental in Sioux Center, Spencer, Storm Lake, and Sioux Falls. Rental, your regional equipment rental experts. Visit them online, rental.com, or call 712-722-3928. Welcome back to the ASB Sports Complex. First pitch to Hope Ransom is a strike. We got a four to two ball game here in the top of the sixth inning. We had a good one. Jaden Faber dealing for the defenders. That pitch is high. One and one for Faber, or excuse me, not for Faber, for Ransom. Ransom 0 for two. She's a fly out and a walk. Never mind, excuse me, 0 for one. The fly out on the walk, she was thrown out at second. That pitch misses, two and two now to Ransom. Pitch is swung at, put on the ground. Groan, shuffles, puts it high, but caught by Seenstra for the first out. Hope Ransom grounds out for the first out to bring up number 51, Ali Battistoni. That pitch misses for a ball. Ali Battistoni batting. That pitch in there for a strike. Right on the outside or inside part of the plate. Battistoni reached on the fielder's choice and popped out. 0 for 2 on the day. Puts that one on the ground. Steenstra makes the play for the unassisted. The three UA. That's how you put that one to the computer, right, Matt? There you go. Two down for the Jimmies to bring up number zero, Abby Blair. She came on in a relief appearance in the fourth inning for Sunny Halsey. She's pitched well. She walked last time up. She's ahead in the count, 1 0. She'll take strike one at the knees. Swings at that one, puts it over by Groon. Groon diving attempt, cannot get it. And a base hit for Blair. Diving attempt by Groon, and even the great Emma Groon at shortstop couldn't get to that one. Just outside of her reach. Amanda Birch now batting for the Jimmies. Pitches in there at the knees for a strike. One and one, excuse me, two and one. One and one, I lost track of count. One and one. That pitch is inside, two balls, one strike. Pitch swung at, slapped foul. Birch is 0 for two on the day, or excuse me, one for two on the day. She has a base hit and a ground out. Two and two to Birch. 
She's made some nice plays at third. She'll swing at that one and foul it off. Two two pitch coming. Faber delivers. Puts that one in the dirt. It's gonna go off the knees of Olsen. And Blair reaches second on the wild pitch. Now pitch in the dirt for ball four. So that'll put runners on first and second to bring up Gentry Turin. She walked last time up, reached on an error, came around to score as well back in the third inning. Pitches on the corner. All in one to Dent Gentry Turin. That one's put into left field. And it's down, it gets past rule, that could be trouble. One runs into score, the tying run comes into score, and we're all knotted up at four. Here in the sixth inning. I couldn't really see what happened over and left. We'll see it, yeah, it looks like ball hitting the left and just got past Rule's glove. Pitches a ball to Greg. Just got past Greg's glove. That allowed Birch to score from second from first. And Turin is in with a, a double. Greg 2-0, swings at that one, puts it foul. Pitch finds the corner of the zone. Fours strike two. We're two, two, and two. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, and a runner on. Tie ball game, four to four. Another foul ball. Two, two pitch. Hit on the ground, Via, tough play, gets it over, in time. And the defenders give up two runs and it's tied now at four, We're heading to the bottom of the six. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back after this. We had two kids going to Dort. The reason they chose Dort was because of the financial aid, the financial aid office. They were willing to work with us through grants, through loans, whatever it took to get our kids to Dort University in an affordable way, in you know, and I way. think that that's, and I think that's the other thing too, they work with families. They yes. want it to be something per family, what's going to be best for your family. First pitch strike to Bryn Toringa here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Tie ball game, four to four. 
Fisher in at first base for the Jimmies. Gracie Fisher, senior from Bemidji, Minnesota. Bryn Toringa with a one-on-one -on -one count. Swing and a miss from Toringa. One and two. And strike out for Toringa. Had her out in front for the first out. An all for three day for Toringa so far. That'll turn the lineup over. Brooke Rule coming up. Brooke Rule hit by a pitch, reached on an error and a ground out. She has two stolen bases and a run scored. Rule swings at that one, fouls it off, out of play. Owen one to Brook Rule with no one on. So out in front of that one as well for strike two. Owen two to Rule. Rule takes that one outside for ball one. One ball, two strikes, and one out. No one on for Brook Rule. Tie ball game, four to four. Jamestown scored two in the last inning to tie it up. Pitch is put into right field. Battistoni's there to cut it off. She goes to first. Dangerous play, I mean, throw that one away. Catcher's there to back it up. I mean, you throw it away, you could have Rule having a chance to get to second in a tie game, but either way, Base hit for Rule into right field. Yeah, you look at that one, she bounces it over to Fisher at first. So it could have been a dangerous play. Fisher able to pick it off the ground, but not in time. Carly Olsen now to bat for the defender. She's the catcher. Looks like they're playing in for the sacrifice. Olsen, she'll take it, runner goes. It's a, not a good throw and short hops Martinez at short. And Brooke Rule standing at third or second after the her third stolen base of the day. So she can run, we know that. She's got a few triples on the season. <coughs> she leads with six triples. That's a lot of triples. <laughs> Two and no to Olsen. Go ahead, run, standing at second base with one out. Base hit, could score rule. I just mentioned she runs well. On deck is Tyson. Olsen will take strike one, excuse me, strike one at the top of the zone. Fouled off by Olsen. Two and two to Olsen. Olsen puts that one on the ground. They're gonna throw her out at third and a base running mistake. Or did she miss the tag? Oh! Ho, ho, ho. So what turned into a base running mistake turns into runners cornered after somehow Brooke Rule avoided the tag. I couldn't see it from where I was at, but we'll see if our cameras got it. Our cameras did get it, I think is what she's telling me. Yeah, here we go. We'll take a look at that one. She's going. They throw it over to third. Oh, and the ball came out. That's what happened. Okay. 
Didn't see that one. But runners are cornered now, so we'll see if they send Olsen. Runner goes, and they're just going to concede the stolen base. So Carly Olsen takes second without a throw. Tyson still at bat, 0-2 is the count. Tyson takes that one outside. Tyson swings through that one for strike three. And the second, a big uh, out number two for the Jimmies. And we're going to get time called by the Jimmies. Two down for the defenders. It's been a busy week here in the world of Dort Athletics. If you uh, haven't been keeping track, Dort women's basketball taking the uh, national championship title yesterday in a, a close one against Providence. 57-53, that was a fun one. And then tomorrow is uh, the start of outdoor track as well as men's volleyball taking on number nine Jamestown up in North Dakota. So that'll be a tough one for them, but they're... They lost the first one in a 3-0 score, but definitely felt they could have won it. And then Concordia Baseball on Friday, Saturday. So that should be another tough one for the Defender Baseball team as they're taking on number 13, Concordia. Uh, one of the top teams in the GPAC and one of the top teams in the country as well. So let's tune into that on the Dort Media Network all weekend long. Chloe Croys. Chloe Croy's batting, the right fielder, and they're just going to walk her. So Chloe Croy's will watch the four pitches. Apparently we're still pitching to him on the intentional walk. Didn't think we were doing that anymore. I mean, yeah, <laughs> make them close. <laughs> Who did that, Ortiz back in the day? So that'll load the bases, and they got to force at any base. So Chloe Croys will reach on an intentional walk. That'll bring up number 13, Lauren Steenstra. And an interesting choice, Steenstra, the RBI leader, puts that one into right field, has a chance, Battistoni going back, that one's at the fence. One run comes in to score, another one in to score. The third run, Chloe Croy's running third, she's in to score. The intentional walk comes back to bite him. Lauren Steenstra, three RBI double. And the go ahead runs come in to score. And that one all the way back over Battistoni's head in right field. We're gonna get a change here from Coach Zomer. Oh, we're gonna re-enter Grissom, I think is what it is. Seven to four now here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Defender, defender dugout loving it right now. And they will re-enter Grissom. She's got two outs and a runner at second. Steenstra knocks in her 31st, or her 29th, 30th, and 31st RBI of the season. 
Grissom lines that one foul. That one is taken for a ball. One and one to Grissom. And she'll take that one outside for ball two. Two balls, one strike. Pitch is in there for a strike, two and two now. Pitch is swung out into right field. Battistoni tracking, she'll make the catch, but the defenders score three runs on a three RBI double hit by Lauren Steenstra. They take the lead 7-4. We're heading into the seventh inning, one last chance for the Jimmies. We'll be right back after this. Today's broadcast brought to you by the Grain House in Hall. They have amazing coffee, energy drinks, breakfast, lunch, and more. With a big city feel located only 10 minutes away in Sioux Center, they have a second location opening next year in Sanborn. Today's broadcast brought to you by Snyder Insurance and Financial Group of Sioux Center, offering life, health, Medicare supplements, annuities, and more. Trusted service and exceptional products with you in mind since 1973. And here's the pitch, swung on, driven in the air, right center field, that'll drop in for a base hit. And this one's a shot up the middle, that'll score one run to tie it. Here comes the go ahead run and scoring on the play. New face in the circle for the defenders. That is Haley Wilkin pitching. Number four, she's got a 573 ERA. This is her sixth appearance this season and seven and a third innings pitched. And she will face Samantha Martinez in the first at bat of this inning. First pitch is in there for a strike. And Wilkin heading the count 0-1. 7-4 ball game here in Sioux Center. That pitch misses for ball one, so we're one and one now. That pitch is hit on the ground. Steenstra fires it over to first, or excuse me, Grone fires it over to first in time for Steenstra. And the second out, of, or the first out of the inning as Martinez is retired. Sure-handed Emma Groon over there in the sixth hole at shortstop for the defenders. Let's bring up number 29, Kayla Quintanilla. She re-enters. Swings at that pitch, puts it high in the air off the dome, and it's going to be caught by Brooke Rule. And an unfortunate bounce, or unfortunate hit, I guess you could say, for Quintanilla. Jimmy's now down to their last out for Mackenzie Lefebvre, the designated player. She did keep catch a little or a few innings here in this one. Wilkin in line for the save. <laughs> Owen one. In there for strike two, and the Jimmy's down to their last strike. That pitch swung at into center field. Tyson camped under it, and the defenders complete the sweep 
They are 2-0 in conference play, and they take down the 4-1 Jimmies who fall to 4-2. Solid all-around game by the defenders. They finished here. They uh, scored seven runs on six hits with one error. Jamestown, four runs on seven hits with four errors. Two of those being catcher's interference. So that was a little bit interesting. Haven't seen that a whole lot this season. And some top performers for the defenders. Looks like Brooke Rule played well. She reached safely three different times. Came around to score two different runs. Stole three bases. And no hit bigger than Lauren Steenstra's three RBI double hit in the sixth inning that scored Chloe Croys, Carly Olson, and Brooke Rule. That proved to be the game winning uh, hit that brought in three of those runs when it was a tie ball game. The win, that one's going to Jaden Faber and the save going to Haley Wilkin. Defenders, next game they'll play, I said Dakota Wesleyan, that's gonna be next Wednesday in Mitchell, so tune into that. Uh, you can check that out on Dakota Wesleyan's website. We'll have some uh, live stats on our website as well. Thanks for joining us here on the Dort Media Network. Uh, love bringing you some winning Dort softball on this Wednesday night. Thanks for joining us, my name's Josh Tatton. Hope you guys have a great night.